Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I'm going to show you five hidden Easter eggs inside of Photoshop. Now for those of you who don't know, an Easter egg is a little hidden coolness that engineers drop into software when they're working on it. Nobody really knows about it unless they let you know the secret squirrel handshake to bring it out. Now, I don't know why they do Easter eggs. I guess, you know, programming all night must drive them crazy. And then they just do something like that to have some fun. And then they're gonna pass that fun on to you. And now I'm gonna show you five of these Easter eggs inside of Photoshop. So the first one I'm gonna show you has to do with paint symmetry. It's not paint symmetry itself. That's not an Easter egg. That's a feature. Let me show you how to enable it right now. So if we go under the preferences, and then we go down to technology previews, you'll see paint symmetry. This is in 2018, by the way. Click OK, and now you'll see this little butterfly will appear in the toolbar. So we're just gonna choose File New, and we're just gonna create a new document. In fact, I'm gonna grab my pen, and we're gonna click on symmetry, and let's do vertical. Hit Enter. And what does this do? Well, this basically enables us to draw just basic symmetry. Okay, so if we wanted to do something like this, you know, some fun thing, like, a, I don't know, little character, um, let's do something like that, you know, just being silly, just having some fun here, you know, you get the general idea. We could do eyebrows, we could do eyes. Let's make that one a little bigger, you know, do some eyeballs. What not, you know, you get you get the general idea. Okay, so this is kind of how this tool works. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of Easter eggs in here. I'm gonna show you two of them. I'm gonna show you how to do these cool kind of kaleidoscopic things. So the first one we're gonna do right now is gonna be radial, so check this out. So let's just undo this a few times, go all the way back to the start here. There we go, great. And now we're just going to choose to paint with symmetry and we're gonna choose new vertical just like we did. Now go to the paths panel and this is where we're gonna unlock it. Double click on vertical symmetry and instead of the word vertical, we're gonna change it to radial. And right now it says one. Whatever number we put in here is the number of symmetries we're gonna do. So let's do 10. You can pick any number you want. And why don't we get something more interesting than that? Let's grab like maybe a nice red or something and start painting and notice what happens. Look at this. Now we've got this cool effect. And we can do all kinds of interesting things with it. Okay, so this is using the radial. Now, notice I'm using the smoothing, and that makes it easy to create these type of effects. Okay, so as you can see, we can have a lot of fun with this. All right, so let's have a look at another one. We're just gonna undo this all the way down, and we're gonna create a new one. So let's go for another one. And this time, we're gonna create one called the Mandala. So let's type in M-A-N-D-A-L-A, -A -A, and let's give it 10. As well, all right, great. Now we're gonna pick a color, like green, and let's see what happens now. Look at this. And now we can create this cool kind of effect. Let's grab some different colors. And maybe make this one a little thinner. And look at these cool patterns that you can easily draw right here inside of Photoshop. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is Easter egg number two, let's find the monkey. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is open up the layer comps window. If you don't see that layer comps window, go under window, layer comps, and you can see I've got it right there. And let's go to the layers panel. Before we can create a layer comp, we need to have a layer, so we can just create any layer. Now we're gonna create a layer comp, and this time we're gonna call it layer monkey, or actually just hit okay to apply it, and double click, and we're gonna change this to layer monkey zero. zero hit enter and look at that now we have a monkey right there in the panel and that's actually as a space monkey drop in a comment if you know where space monkeys from all right so how do we get it back 
To get it back, it's quite simple. We just rename this. And notice it changed that to Layer Monkey is the name of the panel now, by the way. And all we're going to do is just rename this to anything other than that, and it goes back. Okay, so what about number three? I know monkeys love bananas. So let's grab the banana for the monkey, which is going to be Easter egg number three. Okay, so see where you see these ellipses? Grab those and choose Edit Toolbar. Now see where it says Done? It's as simple as holding down the Shift key and clicking, and now you have the banana right there for your monkey. All right, if you want to put it back to how it was, just hold this down, click on Edit Toolbar once again, and this time hit Control, Command, and hit Done. It goes back to normal. I just imagine these programmers probably getting really hungry, like programming all night, because there seems to be a lot of food stuff in here. All right, so let's go check out the toast. So to do that, we're going to go under Preferences. We're going to choose File Preferences. So we can, and that would be on Windows. On Mac, it's going to be Photoshop Preferences Interface. So here in the Interface Preferences, I'm going to hold down Shift Alt, and that would be Shift Option on Mac, and then click. And now pick your flavor of toast. Would you like it barely cooked or would you like it burned? All right, so that's number four. What about number five? Need to wash it down with some coffee? Control, Shift. And that would be Command, Shift, click. We have coffee. And of course, Control or Command, Shift will toggle between toast and coffee. And to put it back, Alt, Option, Shift, click. And it goes back to where we were before. Now, two quick announcements. One. My drone book is now in Chinese. I'm uh, very excited. Um, I can't, the pictures are in English. I know, I have a joke. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but the words are in Chinese. And um, so if you speak Chinese or you live in mainland China, you can now have my book. And, uh, and it's being distributed over there right now. Of course, it's also available in English, The Photographer's Guide to Drones. And one other one is to do with our Wacom giveaway. For those of you who are in the Wacom giveaway, which was my previous video, actually the one before my previous video, which was the five tips with the Wacom tablets, and we're giving away a brand new Intuos. So in order to get in there, what you've got to do is you've got to drop a comment, you've got to subscribe and drop a comment into that thread. Now we're going to be doing a live drawing. We were going to do it on the 29th, but I've had to move it to the 30th of this month. So on the 30th of this month, we're going to be doing a live drawing and I'm going to give away a brand new Wacom Intuos Pro. So check that out, guys, um, and make sure you enter and also come back when we do the live drawing. All right, so there's some Easter eggs inside of Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed these. If you did, please smash that like button into dust. Hit the subscribe button right now and you won't miss a tutorial because I do at least one every single week. Now, I'd love to get some comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this and also share your favorite Photoshop tip. I'd love to know what it is. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to come back with the next exciting tutorial. And until then, I'll see you at the cafe.